the more complex these techniques become, the less likely you're going to be able to use them in a real situation under stress. Push out, and that could be to the face. Shuffling in, and then come down. That just gives me a target. Push, and then strike. I'm going to bring it around behind his back, okay? Because now if he bends his arm, I'm going to lose that. I may transition in case I need it. See how I drop my shoulder, <laughs> grabbing the baton. If I'm choking him, what's my end game? Is this a leap of force situation? Well, in most situations, it is if I'm trying to put a choke in on with the baton. So I'm just trying to survive some kind of encounter that's just gotten out of hand. Not crossing my arms as I bring this weapon out, but bringing this weapon around. If I just try and transition here, what's gonna happen is action versus reaction, bang, he's gonna stick me with that knife before I've got a chance to get my sidearm out. Hit propels the shoulder forward, and that propels the weapon. Push down. I don't wanna bring his hand to my gun. Man, I twist. Bring him over to the side. Twist. One, two, three, boom, and then I come in with a quick combo. I just want to start answering back as quickly as possible. And do the technique slow, um, that way you're not going to get any injuries in your training. Have fun with it. And I'm going to strike position, and then getting the baton out, striking. And from here I'm trying to create space. And getting the baton out. It, it may be a simple thing, but it's not necessarily a natural thing. Same principles of power. And just do it slow to start off and get your distance and timing. I'm here in a, in a real world environment, there may be things on the ground. So just be cognizant that those should only be done at the opportune time. Most people will need some training in, and they always will end in the exact same fighting posture. I'm gonna use my training partner here to kind of help illustrate that change in distance. I move in here, and I could actually reach the head with the pommel of the baton, I've changed that much distance. Very high profile, and immediately I end back in my fighting posture that we've talked about. Be very low profile in that I'm still trying to de-escalate a, a, a potentially volatile situation so that when I take the baton out, it opens out of the holster. And let the energy transfer into the target before I retract it or go to the other side of the body. Up to the left shoulder, cross load, but I don't want to lean away and shy away from those punches because that puts me off balance and it's going to knock me potentially even to the ground. If I'm going to attempt a lock with the baton, I need to create an, a window of opportunity. If I attempt to, to put a lock on someone and they're assaulting me, I'm probably going to get hit.